Hi guys, it's late. I've had a really long day. Um, but while I'm here with Paul's car, uh, I couldn't help but just get a quick little video to show people what a uh, modified TT can look like. This has had so much work go into it. Um, you know, a pretty standard thing for people to change is alloys, but most people wouldn't then decide to put eight pot brakes on there as well. Um, mm -hmm. We've got a nice V6 smooth front bumper on here. Looks beautiful with the phantom black grills, little carbon detail in there. That's a the theme throughout the car. We've got day running lights where the indicators should be, and they do sweep with the indicators. We've got the halos in there as well. We've popped the bonnet. really is amazing this is one of my uh, favorite and one of my least favorite cars to work on at the same time because as, as you can tell any slight mark is going to show up because everything is pristine and it's perfect it's kept really clean this Paul does a lovely job on it uh, as you can tell it is on air ride yeah this is uh, Paul's Instagram if you if you want to follow the car but we've got um, so we've got carbon all around the car it's a really nice finish on that if you look inside and this isn't just 3m stick on tape this is proper carbon uh, dipping um, so that it's a, a nice finish on there. Obviously getting the lines to follow through. Um, we've got full customised interior. It's just stunning. It really is. We've got some nice yellow seat belts back here. It's just all the detailing. Uh, the attention to detail. Seat delete section there. And they're carrying over all the, the stitching through the armrest and the seats. Obviously, the dash looks amazing. Let's go around the back of the car. So we've got some nice uh, six pots on the back as well, which again, people don't new, usually bother doing the rears, but just looks a bit better. We've got a nice is this the Osir one, Paul? Yeah. yeah, the Osir carbon valance on the back. Exhaust is in the pipeline to be changed just so they stick out a little bit more. We've got the fully smoothed rear bumper. It just, you know, this is the US spec bumper as well with the smaller inlay. The carbon spoiler there. Carbon filler cap. Yeah, we've got the. I'm just going to put these indicators on. These are actually something that you may have seen before, but these are the sweeping indicators. And they just really make a difference to the way the car looks. Yeah, it just gives it that modern look. You know, and this, this is show winning. Won quite a few little awards, but as you can tell, there's good reason behind that. So yeah, it is definitely one of my one of my favourites. Um, yeah, I mean it just just everything about it. Yeah, if we pop the boot, it never takes it shopping. Obviously, you know it's all just such a nice finish on there back of the seats Just, you know nothing's been left untouched you know, even down to polishing these push boot struts I mean everything everything you can think of has been has been dealt with we've got some carbon inlays to go on here uh, so we're still just piecing the last few bits together but I mean this is the level of the level of clean that Paul deals with you know any speck of dirt in there 
he's on it. He's on it like Sonic. And his door cards. It's just. I mean, even look at pedals. Yeah, it's just everything's everything's clean and tidy. This steering wheel. Some nice carbon fibre there, perforated leather and a bit of suede at the top. Nice combination. Nice double DIN console. Yeah, everything's been really carefully thought out and everything looks amazing. But yeah, we'll get some nice pictures of this in the day. Like I say, if you follow Paul's Instagram, uh, you can see, you know, pictures of progress um, sort of over the last few years because this has been uh, a big project to get it to where it is now. Um, you know, bought the car completely standard, uh, and yeah, this is all his vision of how he wanted it to look. There's still a few things that we are going to tweak and change as well as we go forward. But I mean, I mean, who who polishes an alternator? You know, who goes to that level of that level of detail everything's everything's amazing on this so yeah like I say follow the car it's, it's one of the nicest TTs I'll be at a few of the shows this year um, you're going to be at uh, you're going to be at Alders in the Park yeah yeah so Alders in the Park that's definitely the the biggest one to to go see them at uh, there's also Drove to the Cove and I was at the local Leicestershire meet um, should be ready for that uh, we've been so working on this over the winter trying to get it ready and it is finally ready so yeah uh, i hope you've enjoyed uh, i hope it gives you some inspiration for what you could do on yours as well